we have the Phantom 4 Pro version 2, we have the smart controller, and we're going to go for a flight right now. Hey guys, well welcome to Kluji Tech Time, I'm David, and I got something special for you today, one that I'm not sure that anybody else has put out there on the internet yet. So, this is the Mavic 2 Pro. This is the smart controller. Now this video is not about the Mavic 2 and the smart controller because you guys have seen that a million times. This video is about something different. This video is about this right here with this right here. This is the Phantom 4 Pro version 2.0 and this of course is the DJI smart controller. Now DJI has just recently released a beta version of the smart controller firmware it is version 01.00.0565 or something like that. I realized as I was editing this video that I did a terrible job of trying to explain about this beta version for the DJI Smart Controller. So I'm going to throw this in here real quick. This is the release notes for this beta version that I'm running for this video. This is version 01.00.0565. It's a beta, again, it's not for a public release for everybody. Uh, so I'm not sure when it's going to be made available and publicly released as a final version. I don't know if they'll tweak anything based upon what they find in the beta or if they'll just end up releasing this exact version for public consumption or not. Uh, I've been running it for a little while and everything has been working great for me. I've run into a few little items here and there that I've passed back those details to DJ. I'm not going to go into those a whole lot here. There's been a few screens where I've seen some Chinese language instead of English language on some pop-up screens and, and uh, SkyTalk. It's got a few little niggles in it, but the support for Phantom 4 Pro version 2 is really what I was really interested in, and that's what this video is about. So back to that. As a lot of you guys probably know, when DJI first released the smart controller, everybody said, oh, that's way too expensive, and it's still really expensive. Uh, you have to have specific use cases to be able to, to probably justify buying one of these. But if you do have a use case, it is an awesome device. I actually use mine all of the time. Now, I use mine all the time with my Mavic 2 Pro. Uh, now, when it was first released, it only supported the Mavic 2 Pro and the Mavic 2 Zoom, as you probably know. But DJI had promised future compatibility with other DJI drones that have OcuSync 2.0. Well, What's one of the other drones that has OcuSync 2.0? This right here, Phantom 4 Pro version 2. Now this is not going to work with the original Phantom 4 Pro or any of the other variants of the Phantom 4. It is specific to the Phantom 4 Pro version 2 because this right here has OcuSync 2.0 in it just like the Mavic 2 has in it. So this is not released yet. Uh, it will be sometime soon. I'm not sure exactly when, but we have Phantom 4 Pro version 2. We have this. So I'm going to walk you through the process of getting up and in the air, and we're going to demonstrate that this actually works. So I've already been through this process. I wanted to test it out before I actually recorded it here to go through the process, and it just worked. It was super simple. So there's two different ways that you can go about pairing this up with your smart controller. Now, you can use the standard DJI GO methodology, or you can use the methodology that they've built in that's specific to the smart controller. First off, let's talk about going through just DJI GO 4. So the first step you do is you go into DJI GO 4, you press GO, and then you just enter device and enter the camera view. And then once you're in there, then you're just going to go into the menu up at the top and choose the remote control icon, scroll to the bottom. So then you're just going to choose the remote controller linking in here. And once you choose that, then there is the linking button that you have to use something pointy right in here to be able to link it. So that is super simple. That's the way you've been doing it for ages. That's the way you've been doing it with other remote controllers as well. The one that comes with this, the one that comes with this. But with the smart controller, it actually has a second way of being able to do it. And it's really their device manager. So let me get out of this, go back out. And we're going to go into the menu system, not in DJI Go 4. We're going to go into the menu system in here and we're going to choose the settings. We're going to do aircraft management. 
and then you can actually see in here that I've already added this in here, but we're gonna walk through the process of adding it again as a new one. So you can see that I've got three different devices listed here. Uh, I've got this test P4P, I've got a Mavic 2 Zoom, which is my buddies as well, and then I've got my Mavic 2 Pro listed in here. So let's go through the process of adding this in. Okay, so the first step we're going to do in here is we're going to click Add Device. We're going to choose which aircraft we have, and you can see in this list we have Mavic 2 Pro, Mavic 2 Zoom, Phantom 4 Pro version 2.0, Mavic 2 Enterprise Dual and Mavic 2 Enterprise. So those are all the drones that are supported as of this beta release of this firmware. So I'm going to go ahead and press the Phantom 4 Pro version 2 on here. It's saying linking, press linking button on the aircraft. First off, I've got to turn this aircraft on. Once it boots up, once it gets booted up, I'm just going to go ahead and press this button in here. And it has now linked it in here. So now it's asking me for a name. So it gave me a second after linking it to give it a name. I didn't press any buttons, so then it just automatically just added what was already there. And now we can see that I can see what is on here, okay? So I'm linked, I'm good to go, I'm ready to go, and if I get out of here, we can see on our screen it's showing Phantom 4 Pro V2. We've got our aircraft right here, and uh, we are linked, we're fired up, we are got DJI Go, we can see what is in here. And we're ready to go fly. So we're going to cut away from right here. We're going to step out over here in the sun. And we are going to take this Phantom 4 Pro for a flight with the DJI Smart Controller. All right, guys. So we have the DJI Smart Controller right here connected to the Phantom 4 Pro version 2. And uh, we're just going to go for a little flight here. Uh, if the Phantom actually survives, the uh, horse-sized mosquitoes or flies we got going on here and and uh, we won't say where wh which parts of us are sweating out here because it's nasty so anyways uh, we're gonna go for a little flight we have the smart controller phantom 4 pro version 2 beta right here so hopefully everything works good thing is motors are starting will it take off will it take off Woo! <laughs> so <laughs> there's my helpers we're all doing the, the dance as the 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 flies are sitting here eating us alive but uh yeah i just want you guys to see that what we have going on right here is what we've got going on on the aircraft so if i go up down so no tricks here we're flying the phantom 4 pro version 2 with the ocusync 2.0 with the smart controller right here so uh Everything that I've done so far has worked out. So we're just gonna take it for a little flight down here across some of these uh, baseball fields and uh, see how long I can deal with these dang flies. So, <laughs> all right, here we go. So we get a big plane flying by. And by the way, this is not my drone. Gene here who is uh, being cameraman today this is his drone, and uh, thank you very much, Gene. Really appreciate that. My pleasure. I'll bring off next time. <laughs> so I probably shouldn't have told, told you that story about crashing my uh, Mavic 2 Pro right before putting your uh, Phantom 4 Pro up, huh? <laughs> that probably wasn't the, the best idea. Off we go. So yes, yeah, so we're just gonna go ahead and uh, fly down here. We've got a uh, baseball park here. We've got the Ohio River. And I am getting a fly here. I, I really don't have to go to the bathroom. I already did that before the video, but uh, these things are just killing me.
Uh, you got decent like. Yeah. Believe me, it's working. Everything's working. All the features. I can adjust the camera. I can fly it. Uh, all that stuff. Stuff works. So uh, I think we're gonna have to cut this one short here because. Uh, Alright, yeah, so Phantom 4 Pro version 2, DJI Smart Controller, as far as I can well tell, everything just is working, so uh, <laughs> give it a try. If you got any questions, hit me down below, and uh, thanks again, Gene, for uh, sharing your drone with us, and uh, letting me not drop it into the Ohio River yet, and, uh, better get it down before I actually do that. All right, guys, so uh, we're just gonna land it here and uh, hope you guys uh, enjoyed this video. If you uh, aren't already subscribed, all right, so that's the Phantom 4 Pro version 2 with the DJI Smart Controller. Thanks for watching. Hope you had a good time. Hope you, uh, that was useful for you. If it was, hit subscribe, hit like, leave me any questions down below. Hope to see you on another video soon. See you. I don't know how well that's gonna work out. That was. Uh, I did not get the that's all right. You're all good. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> all right. <laughs>